A Carnegie Institution for Science audio press release for April 14, 2011. Climate change from black carbon depends on altitude. New research from Carnegie's Long Cow and Kim Caldera, along with colleagues George Badweiss and Govinda Sami Bala, quantifies how black carbon aerosols' impact on climate depends on altitude in the atmosphere. These airborne particles made of sooty carbon are believed to be among the largest man-made contributors to global warming because they absorb solar radiation and heat the atmosphere. The team's research involved idealized simulations of adding a theoretical megaton of black carbon uniformly around the globe at different altitudes in the atmosphere. They found that the addition of black carbon near the land and ocean surface caused the surface to heat. As the altitude of black carbon increased, surface warming decreased. The addition of black carbon to the stratosphere caused the land and oceans to cool. This cooling occurred despite the fact that the black carbon caused the Earth as a whole to absorb more energy from the sun. When black carbon is high in the atmosphere, it can lose its energy to space while helping to shade the land and ocean surface. Forest fires, cooking stoves, and emissions from trucks and automobiles, among other sources, are putting most of the black carbon into the atmosphere near the surface. Aircraft are a notable source of emissions to the upper atmosphere. Black carbon in the atmosphere also changed precipitation in the simulation. When lower in the atmosphere, it increased precipitation, while in the upper atmosphere, it decreased precipitation. This study points out the importance of understanding the complexities of how human activities affect the globe. If humans want to live well while protecting the environment, we need to understand how our activities affect climate. The work is published online by the journal Climate Dynamics. The Carnegie Institution has had over 100 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.